reactor jitter. Adjusting compression rate. Station Hold up. Maintained. Let me make Thrust one stable. thing clear. As a member of the Brotherhood, you serve under my command. If you want my respect, you will have to earn it. When I give you a mission, I expect results. Is that clear? What are your orders, Captain? I'm aware of your search for the missing recon team. I want that resolved. Do you have anything to report? I've completed my investigation into the missing recon team. Paladin Brandis was the only survivor. Brandis? What happened to him? Can he come back to the Brotherhood? Perhaps. We would have to place him under medical observation. Might be months or years before he's cleared for duty again. If he ever is. But his survival experience and knowledge of the Commonwealth would still be a tremendous asset to us. I'm worried about him. He's paranoid, unstable. I'm not surprised. All that time alone must have taken a toll on him. He's alive and well, but he wants to be left alone. He's given up. I expected better from him. What a waste. Very well. Is there anything else? How will the Brotherhood remember them? They faced their mission with courage. They fought with honor against overwhelming odds. They lived and died together as brothers. That is what it means to be a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. Do you want their holotapes? Thank you. I'll see that they make it to their next of kin. That's all. I'll prepare a full report for the Elder. In the meantime, allow me to offer you a new suit of armor. Bear it with distinction. This was no easy mission, Knight. Well done. Now, I have a more pressing matter that requires your attention. I've received reports that supplies have been disappearing from our supply depot at the airport. I suspect this may be an inside job. An inside job? Do you have any suspects? This is treason we're talking about. In a case like this, you are either sure or you are not. Until then, everyone is a suspect. I want you to take charge of this investigation. Report to Knight Sergeant Gavel at the base. He commands our logistics division. He can familiarize you with his unit and the depot. Beyond that, you have leave to conduct your investigation as you see fit. Report your findings directly to me. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I expect results. See that I get them. Dismissed. It's a shame these people have to live in fear. Sheltering in this old stadium with all those yeah. perfectly good things inside. Don't mind my ma. She's always a little bit cranky. Let's just focus on you. Yes? Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean? The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. 
<laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there, but to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is, or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg? Huh. What about him? He had to have a way in and out. But, well, we both know that angle is cut off. Yeah. Any other ideas, Nick? Talk about a literal dead end, huh? So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. So, what now? Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Who's this Dr. Amari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Hmm. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads, nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way. I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Anything else you can tell me about the memory den? It's in Good Neighbor, a little slice of trouble northeast of ways. The memory den ain't just a fancy name, it's literal. A lot of people give up all their caps just to relive the good parts of their lives. Over and over. Not us. We're gonna try to dive deep into someone else's mind. I can meet you there, or we can head out together. It's you and me, Nick. Let's get going. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. While you two are out, I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be here if you need me. Piper. You know, the Institute has a lot of enemies. The Minutemen tangled with them once. The Railroad still does. I've even got some notes on these new guys. The Brotherhood of Steel. You said something about the, the railroad. Supposedly, they help runaway synths escape the Institute, but they're secretive. Ultra paranoid. The only thing I have is a rumor. A, a code phrase. Follow the Freedom Trail. That Brotherhood airship is hard to miss. Yeah, the Brotherhood of Steel doesn't do subtle. <laughs> From what I've heard, they take whatever they want. Especially if it's high-tech. They just might have the muscle to give the Institute a run for their money, but they're... Let's just say they have their own agenda. Tell me about the Minutemen. You know that group you rescued and conquered? As far as I know, they're the last Minutemen left in the Commonwealth. They used to be a volunteer army, dedicated to protecting friends, family, and neighbors. Sounds soft, but... They were a real thing at one point. I should get going. All right.
Hey, Piper. You remind me of the young man I used to know. Never looking for trouble, but always finding it. Hey. Come back for the site? I need Med X this time. Another cam, another window to look through. Yeah, here you go. Oh, it just makes everything feel good, don't it? I'm starting to see clearly. I see you, the mighty hunter. Only what you're hunting ain't an animal or a man. It's something different. Maybe something more than human. But what's this? I see a man in a white outfit standing over your prey. And he says something. It's, it's hard to make out. But I'm trying, kid. He says Z247, initialize factory reset, authorization code Zeta 53 Kilo. And then he falls, and he's still. I can't. I almost thought I couldn't breathe there. Uh. Heart's beating like no tomorrow. Gonna need to rest. Robot try to be humans. Stupid. I don't robot. think we've met yet. Anyway, I just wanted to say thanks for the opportunity. Any place you want me to pitch in? Yeah, let me show you. Okay. Heads up. Move here. How you doing, buddy? Hey, boy. Think you can find something for me? See if there's any good stuff nearby, boy.
Hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Insurance? That's right. Insurance. Personal protection, like. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let him go. You soft head cock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. No, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, brother? You. You're a ghoul? That's right. Like my face. I think it gives me a sexy King of the Zombies kind of look. Big hit with the ladies. Listen, a lot of walking rad freaks like me around here. So you might want to keep those kinds of questions on the low burner next time. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Good neighbor? That what you call this place? That's right. We cobbled this little neighborhood together out of the freaks and misfits that just wouldn't be accepted anywhere else. You'll see. You make enough friends here, you'll call this place home soon enough. So long as you remember who's in charge. Mayor Hancock? Too bad about Finn. They're gonna miss him next Super Mutant Attack rolls around. Oh well. What can I do for our newcomer? What's your story, Hancock? My favorite subject. I came into this town about a decade ago. Had a smooth set of skin back then. While I was busy making myself a pillar of this community, I would go on these, like, wild tears. I was young. Any chems I could find, the more exotic, the better. Finally found this experimental radiation drug. Only one of its kind left, and only one hit. Oh man, the high was so worth it. Yeah, I'm living with the side effects, but hey, was not to love about immortality. You're immortal? Well, not exactly. Ghouls just age really, really slow. Something about the rads, maybe? Oh, who knows? You're a hell of a risk-taker, Hancock. Only have one life. Why not try it all? 
Anyway, did you need something else? Looking for work. Work, huh? Hmm. I'll tell you what, I got reconnaissance needs. There's a lot of weird talk coming in about a place called the Pikmin Gallery. It's raider territory up there, but they've been quiet. Like uncomfortable post-coitus quiet. Snoop it out and give me the word. What else can you tell me about Pikmin Gallery? Nothing. That's why I'm paying you to go out there. I might be interested, but let's talk money, Hancock. Okay. Usual job pays 200 but I like you. So let's push it to 250 Scout out Pikmin Gallery. On it. Cool. Be thorough, okay? I'm not paying for a look-see. Find out what's really going on there. <laughs>